Well, what's up, guys, and welcome back to the channel. I appreciate you guys for joining each and every time you do decide to join me. But I got another one for you today. Yep. The king. The king is in the building, man. Uh, let me get some things out about the king first. The king has been sticking by me <laughs> through thick and thin. I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about. Hold on. Let me see if I can edge her in there. Yeah, yeah. So while bipolar is down, the king has been getting the miles, been getting the fun, been getting the action, been getting the abuse at that. Uh, so basically, we had to do some upgrades to the king. Yeah, I couldn't leave it quiet. I couldn't leave it with the stock look. I got to start the modifications. I got to make it my own. So what did I do? I went and raided Harley, man. <laughs> I went to Harley and I'm like, give me that. Give me that. Is that in black? Give me that. So I got a bunch of parts from Harley. Guys, you know, I like to use a lot of the Harley parts for the accessories of the bike just because of the fitment. They always come out really, really good. So now that I've gone to Harley, got all the things I've wanted to put on it, I want to show them to you. One more thing. This is a Road King. It's still a Road King, but it's on its way to become a king. Now, when I say that, that's just my analogy for it's becoming something that's really personalized and a performance bagger at the same time. Guys, we've been saying performance bagger for, for a while now, but when the king comes along, I'm gonna just call it, it's a king now, a king, not road king, a king. I'm gonna turn you guys around, you guys can see what I see, and we'll talk about it. You tell me what you think. All right, so guys, if you see bipolar off in the distance, she's sad still, she's still on life support, but you know, she's gonna come together really, really soon. Guys, we're really moving with that bike, but, yeah, the king has gotten to work. The king is getting the action right now. I'm going to go part for part with the king, man. I want you guys, it might be subtle. You might not even see it really, but I'm going to go through everything we've done um, with the king. Yeah, all the Harley parts, I'm going to show them to you. So let's start in the front of the bike. First things first, guys, if you don't know, I always remove the reflectors. Boom. As soon as I remove the reflectors, I got to get axle nut covers. 50 bucks from Harley uh clean the bike up in the front kind of give it that black effect remember this is a 22 road king special you guys know that the special comes with all the black accents on it so why not help it out and give it more black accents i do the axle nut covers and i do the axle uh piece right here i can't think of the name of it <laughs> just go to harley and ask them for it if you want it so we move on up we do it in the sale the trim ring cover okay this is an extension to the trim ring okay Remember on the normal setup, it's basically cut off about right here. This is an extension. I'll call it a four inch an extension. They make different ones from different companies. But like I said, to get it to fit right, just my opinion, I went to Harley. Not to say that we're done there. We might do something a little bit longer, but as for now, that's where we're at. 60 bucks out of Harley. Kind of, you know, accents that they make a head like that Harley gives you now. Uh, gives it a little bit of a more of aggressive look guys you know i already <laughs> yeah 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 i know you guys keep looking over there you guys keep looking i gotta get back up here man so free modification right here all we did was flip the mirrors from the top to the bottom these are 12 inch uh harley handlebars and i'm jumping ahead of myself but those are 12 inches just in case you guys want to know i kind of really figured it out this time but i flipped the uh mirrors because i don't like them sitting up so high and especially over this nice windshield that we have remember that's the harley wind splitter 470 dollars out of harley i'm not proud of it but it was worth the money so we got that aggressive look man we are halfway there guys i'm gonna change these out pretty soon the turn signals i just don't know what i'm gonna do with that yet but mm, drop the comments and we'll see what we can come up with here next thing i did performance machine grips uh take my advice get yourself a good set of uh, grips like that especially if you don't like to use gloves they're very aggressive so i do have sweaty hands when i'm riding these are interchangeable these are the renthal rubber grip part texture so if these start to wear out you can even swap colors you throw you another set of those on and you're good to go all right since we're on this side let's go with this the rock form mount oh my bad 110 dollars for for the uh grips uh i like them but what i don't like is this right here uh, there's a little play there the play is not this way the play is this way i don't know if it could be tightened up or if that's just how it is because it's an aftermarket piece see sometimes guys those aftermarket pieces give you a little something that you're not gonna like so 
rock form mount i really like it i run one on bipolar this one has the additional lock here and this moves because it's supposed to kind of like be a little easier on your phone case um and it does come with a lanyard guys i run that all the time so even if i'm trying to record real quick and i fool around and drop the phone um while i'm moving it won't you know fly off but you get close enough if you don't shorten this up it will hit your gas tank your phone will hit your tank so i wrap it around once or twice and then i'm rocking and rolling sorry guys i'm trying to show you <laughs> all right so that's where we're at with that uh let's approach let's approach what we got here so first of all i got a kozo um speedometer i'm gonna get into that on a whole nother video but i'll turn it on for you and look how i turn it on look you see ignition's in the off switch position i flip it down it's on and popping oh yeah it's on and popping real quick uh i like the rpm look i like the rpms more than i would like the speedometer we got a digital uh speedometer here and it shows you all your gauges a lot better than that little line you would have in the stock harley gauge um which you have to read the numbers it's, it's more of a um analog style of a look who wants to do that i do have so uh this was around 300 and change 350 somewhere around in there for this what we will do is go back and try and get one with a black bezel i gotta see if they'll swap me out i think this was the only one they had in stock at the time and watch this turn that off yeah that's the only one they had in stock at the time and it was chrome i don't want chrome because i'm gonna be doing a lot of black on this bike so here we go flush mount gauges uh fuel fuel tank and fuel gauge okay i'll turn this back on for you guys again i'm sorry so you can see how much gas you actually got in there and it goes by kind of like by the notches i'm still kind of afraid to run the bike down low on fuel i'm not trying to test it but eventually i will we will be swapping this lock out see the lock is kind of like pointless at right now you know what i mean so we're gonna swap it out and put a black one on there but we're not gonna be using it anyway let's back up a little bit back up back up back up oh, keep going all right so i had to run the harley man and get the screw that everybody gets um remember harley parts that's my thing harley 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 uh we're gonna keep running we're gonna keep running that was a 25 dollars screw on the back of the bike uh i think i forgot to tell you guys the gauges were like 230 bucks for these gauges um but i like them they make that sleek appeal let's go on down yeah heel shifter heel shifter guys make sure you always get one i forgot how much it was i think it was like 50 bucks i'm more of a heel shifter guy than a toe shifter guy i hate messing up my shoes that's first of all but heel shifting is a lot smoother for me just because i've been heel shifting ever since i had a harley get yourself one and my last but not least my last but not least the shift linkage harley shift linkage um this is the black um beautiful piece though man beautiful piece guys hopefully i can show it to you oh, let me see get yourself one uh the shift linkages the stock ones tend to bend and break and different things like that and you don't want to be stuck out somewhere um with a broken shift linkage okay i'm almost done let's get down to it shout out to bad boy cycles yeah see how they hooked me up got my name on it guys you can get one too i think i'm gonna replace those screws with some black ones to kind of set it off a little bit but it's got my logo it's got my name i like it kind of matches the bike and i think that might be that color that we need to kind of accent this bike a lot of these things i'm gonna still get powder coated in black that's one of them um for the wind splitter it only comes in chrome so we'll be we'll be getting that off the bike and we'll be hooking that up guys i'm still running my cvo seat from a few years ago with the bad boys backrest that's saving me right now um we are getting a seat made so just in a little bit we will probably have a seat i'll be able to introduce it to you and you know we'll see where we're at it's gonna be a custom seat though custom one-off style of a seat maybe we can get them to make those seats for everyone i know i know i know you want me to address the elephant in the room here's the elephant in the room yep i'll, I'll, I'll show it to you i'll show it to you hold on hold on hold on there it is if you know what i just showed you you might know 
what I'm going to say. I can't tell you right now. We're going to save that for another video because I want to sit down and be able to show you everything, show you numbers, and actually have the bike at the shop. And we're going to do a little, one more touch to it before we kind of like announce what I've done to the motor. Yes, yes, we did something to the motor. Guys, if you follow me on Instagram or if you follow me on um, YouTube, <laughs> you'll see that I did a video of the bike running. Okay, you can kind of hear some chop in it. You know, go ahead and guess. Go ahead, drop that in the comment section. Guess what I did to the engine. And then, guys, I will reveal it. But, guys, do me a favor. Please like, share. Make sure you're subscribing, man. Subscribe. Don't forget, this is mineral green denim. I love the color. It's really coming out the way I want it to. We haven't done much, but we have done something. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of running my pockets dry right now. But we got some more things really, really coming for this bike. It's going to be gorgeous when at the end of the day, and it's going to be something different. My plan and my mind is already made up. So, guys, you stay tuned. Just keep watching. Bipolar, she'll be off life support soon. Hey, baby, she's back there. She's a little jealous right now. She haven't been getting no camera time. But, you know, the king is here. He's getting the camera time. He's doing me the justice right now. So, guys, like, comment, subscribe. If you don't want to comment here, drop your comments over uh, at my Instagram. <laughs> Instagram, the real official Mac. I try to answer as much as I can. And that way I can get more into detail than answering questions on YouTube. Guys, that's just how I kind of try and do it. We will be doing some more things, guys. This week I should have another video for you to drop and you can enjoy it. Guys, until the next time, peace.